Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video review. And the featured figure for this review is the brand new Masters of the Universe Revelations Skella God. But before I get to taking a look at this figure, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Also, make sure and check out my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. Now, I know a lot of my regular rev reviewers are wondering why I'm promoting Toy Hacks for a Masters of the Universe figure. Well, not only does Toy Hacks do decals for Transformer figures, they do outstanding backdrops for your displays and photography. And they have some pretty cool Masters of the Universe displays, including backdrops of Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain, and a really cool one showing the transformation of He-Man and Battle Cat. And they're really good quality too. I have this one right here that you've probably seen me use in my Toy Hex videos. I love them. So once I get my Masters of the Universe figures where they're going to be permanently, I'm going to get some of those backdrops to display with mine because I think they look sweet. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Skelegod. So here he is right here. You can see him behind his plastic prison, Masters of the Universe Revelations by Mattel. Let's see, side of the box, we got some art of Skelegod. And on the back is more art and a quick synopsis of the character. Also, here on the bottom is the rest of Wave 1. So now, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Skelegod all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a few accessories. He does have two extra gripping hands, and these do have hinges right here, so these hands will be articulated at the wrist. He also has a green magical energy blast, because you know all evil magic is green. He also comes with the power sword, and in my opinion, this is kind of a spoiler for the Netflix show. Actually, this whole figure here is a spoiler because apparently Skeletor gets a hold of He-Man's power sword and becomes Skelegod. And this, to me, is a throwback to the 1987 movie where Skeletor gained the power of Grayskull and became a god. I am more than man. More than life. I I'm going to call it right now. We're going to see a collector's edition of this figure in gold armor to honor the 87 movie. Now, taking a closer look at Skelegod himself, this guy is huge. He's about double the size of a Masters of the Universe Origins figure, and the details on this guy are amazing. Look at the head sculpt and the paint applications. That looks Great. About the one complaint I have is I wish the little dots there in the eyes were red instead of the same color as the rest of the skull. I might take a red Sharpie or a little paint pen and fix that. But other than that, just look at that. Look at the detail, the teeth, the nose, the details there on the ram horns up here on the crest. Looks like got a little bit of flashing right there, but nothing I can't live with. The armor is outstanding, and it's a soft, pliable plastic. It's almost like it's 
I bet this could be removed. I'm not going to attempt it because it may mess up the figure, but it does seem separate from the rest of the toy. The same here with the armor on the gauntlets. Down here on the waist, this is a soft pliable plastic as well. Actually, the gauntlets, all the armor pieces are soft pliable plastic. But man, look at the paint applications. I like the big H there on the chest. And I believe, once again, this is the power of Grayskull because that reminds me of the H on Battle Armor He-Man. Right here, he does have some translucent plastic right there for the neck. And I like that because if you recall from the 2000 version of Masters of the Universe, it's shown that Skeletor's head just floats above his body. It's not really attached. And I like how that magical green energy is shown holding his head up. It's really, really cool. I believe it's on a ball joint. You can kind of see solid plastic inside there. I wish it was translucent like the rest of it, but still, it doesn't look bad. Real green, fiery looking. Got lots of articulation too. Head can look up and down and move down slightly. Now, it doesn't stand perfectly straight up, but that's no biggie. He's a giant figure, so you know he's looking down on his minions. Now, articulation for this guy is just off the chain. As I showed with the head, the head can look up and down. It can do a complete 360. The arms are on a ball joint as well. The shoulders can go up and down. They could go all the way around, too, if it wasn't for the shoulder armor. But who displays their figures with their arms all the way back? There is a bicep rotation. There is a double bicep bend. You can see right there. There is a wrist rotation. The fingers are not articulated. Man, do they have some details. I like the clawed look on those hands. There is articulation right here, mid chest. So you can kind of do a ab crunch. There is waist rotation. For the legs, the legs can go out, they can go in, nice tight joints. With the knees, the knees, there is a double joint as well. Very, very tight though, but you can see that double joint. Let's see, there is rotation here at the boot line, so calf rotation, and ankle tilt and rotation. Now there's a lot of play in these ankles and there is a fault with the figure the ankles are a little loose you got to get this guy just right to get him to stand up so i may add a little bit of floor polish to those ankles to help hold those in place now on the back of the figure he has a cloth cape and that really surprised me because i've been collecting the origin line and origin figure capes are hard plastic so, well, not hard plastic or pliable plastic, but they're plastic nonetheless. Skelegod here has a nice flowing purple cape, and it's actually in three sections. You got this top layer here, a middle layer that actually has some plastic inserts. I forget what the actual technical term for those is called, but that looks really cool and kind of holds the cape in place. And then you have the third layer right there and it looks really really good i love the coloring on this so you have a nice flowing cape you know put him on a display with a little fan blowing so you got that look going on now i do believe that you can take the cape off if you look under his armor he's got a little plastic piece right here so you can just lift this up it's just got two little let me find it two little clips right there that you hook on the back of this section. So if you don't want to display him with the cape, you have that option right there. But why not? Because this cape is freaking awesome. So now let's take a look at the accessories that Skelegod comes with. Now for the hands, I'm not going to change out both of them because it's going to be the same thing for either one. So let's go with the right hand here. Once again, it is very nicely sculpted with those claws and let's see i bet this is just like a neca figure just grab the other hand pop it right off and, oh okay that slides off so the gauntlets 
do come off. So that's pretty cool, but let's see. Leave the gauntlet on. We'll pop the gripping hand in here. Now, sometimes when you have these little extra pieces, like extra fists and heads, you can hear a little pop when it goes in. This one does not, so you just kind of go with feel. So we've got the gripping hand here. We've got the outstretched hand here, so you can kind of do that, the world is mine look. <laughs> That's not much of a Skeletor laugh. Now we take the power sword. Let's look at this. I love the looks of this sword. It actually has a grip so that is awesome and the paint application see the edge very nice power sword so we'll go ahead and put this in Skeletor's hand here and it fits great so now let's find the evil magic blast and I guess it just slides over the other hand let's see if it'll work over the open hand I might have to change out hands here Nope, it fits. So now you have that going on. Now, I really, I don't like that. I just think it looks like a blobby mess. I wish he had like a ball of energy that would fit in his hand, like he's holding an energy orb or something. So that may stay in the parts box. But this, this looks sweet. Now, I do wish he had his Havoc staff, so I don't understand why he doesn't that's like an iconic weapon for skeletor but i haven't seen the show yet there may be a reason why he doesn't have that and now for some quick size comparisons here is masters of the universe revelation skelegod with masters of the universe origins keldor masters of the universe origins skeletor Funko Pop Skeletor on his throne. And Generation 1 Bludgeon. The closest Transformer figure I have that looks like Skeletor. The Masters of the Universe Revelation Skelegod figure is a great figure. I absolutely love this toy and I think he's going to look great on my shelf. But I really don't know if I'm going to continue to collect the Masters of the Universe Revelation line. After all, I'm collecting the Origins line because, you know, that has more of a nostalgia feel for me. And though I've never reviewed any Masters of the Universe figures before, I love that line. I just think the whole concept behind Masters of the Universe with the alien world that has a blend of barbarian and technology and wizardry is just so cool and i can't wait to see the new netflix show though i do have my worries but that's a whole nother video i personally think this skelegod figure is going to look good blended in with my origins line or just on a shelf by itself i just wish he didn't have the ankle tilt problem it took me forever to get this pose. Now, like I said, I am going to add the floor polish to the ankles to help tighten him up. And I also noticed if you happen to collect NECA figures and have these NECA bases, these work perfect. You can just slide those right onto Skelegod's foot and there you go. So he does have a little bit more stability there. So there's always an option. So there you go, guys. The Masters of the Universe Revelation Skelegod. So, does the new Masters of the Universe Revelation Skelegod belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic toy. I love this guy. He just looks so evil, so colorful. He's got a freaking fabric cape, great articulation, and I think he's going to look good on the shelf no matter where I decide to put him, whether it be with my Masters of the Universe Origins collection or just hanging out here on my desk, I love the looks of this figure. Though, as I said, he's got these loose ankles that can easily be fixed with some floor polish. And if you have no idea how to do that, get some floor polish, get a Q-tip, just add a little bit to the joint, work it in a little bit and let him set overnight. It'll thicken it up and you're good to go. Of course, I also got the NECA base. So yeah, 
you see this guy, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to my newest channel member, War077. War, thank you so much for your support. And Skella God just fell down. I have got to get those ankles thickened up. Guys, once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!